Wilson from Austin, Texas, and I'm excited to be a Panini Raider rookie. I was born in Illinois outside of Chicago, a place called Libertyville. I lived there until I was six, you know, I ended up staying here until I was 12 years old. You know, then I moved to Lake Travis, Austin, Texas, and finished my middle school and high school career, career days there. You know, I grew up in a competitive household. You know, I feel like that had a lot to do with my success throughout, you know, grade school and then into the college level. Wilson with a spitball! Cut! Wilson touchdown box! I might say what made me feel that appeal to Ohio State, you know, was the tradition. You know, kind of having my brothers be older than me and go through that recruiting process. You know, I kind of felt the love for Ohio State early. You know, they didn't, they didn't offer my brother, so, you know, I knew I wanted to play there. You know, we had a really good relationship with Coach Day, my parents did as well, and you know, we trusted in what he was going to do. And we knew that he was the pass-minded, you know, offensive mind. Being a receiver, you want to be able to play the great quarterbacks. You want to be able to play in an offense where they're trying to feature you. And, um, you know, we felt like Ohio State was taking that step, you know, even being up here in the north. You know, I'd say it's really special. It's a place where, you know, it goes far beyond football, something you hold on throughout the rest of your life. What up with y'all boys? What up with you, Caden? How you doing? Yeah, all right, Y'all boys, all right, bro. Good to see y'all boys. You know, coming in this room, being a, you know, recruit, you know, stuff like this drew me in. You know, you see all the people that are good players in the league, great players in the league, doing their own thing. And, you know, all those older dudes, you know, I saw their success and, you know, wanted to, you know, leave my legacy just like they did. Being a recruit, you want to be a part of something like this, for sure. It's Garrett Wilson for the touchdown. Fields releases. Garrett Wilson brings it in over the shoulder. Wilson in stride for six. Garrett Wilson striding to touchdown. Wilson cutting from the pylon. Delivers down the field. We got to the combine on Monday, and you know from then on it was a you know grind until that last day. It's taxing on your on your mind. You know it's kind of one of the things I feel like they're testing you. So um, you know when it got to testing day and we finally got out there to perform, you know I felt like I got in the right mindset and was able to you know get going. So this is probably one of the times where I've been the most disciplined I've ever been in my life. Being locked in on what I wanted to do, training the right way and working the right muscles to be able to perform. It's definitely a test on, you know, everything is deeper than just, you know, going out there and running. Um, you really got to drill this stuff, you really got to train all this. He has a great catch radius and he continues to high point the football. He's also a really good route runner. Garrett Wilson is a complete player and a player I believe that when he gets on the, into a building, he's a starter day one. Fun to watch the hands on this guy. Wilson, you can see he was taking it with the hands. And that's a natural pass catcher. He can time up down the field. He can jump up and get a, a deep ball. It's very powerful and change of direction. The way he's changed his body, the way he attacked the offseason this past year, you know, he just exploded on the scene this season. Um, you know, I'm happy with how I ran. Um, you know, I definitely feel like I could have done better. You know, I feel like I got something to prove still, so for sure. Take your time on this because the game is changing. Uh, there are a lot of teams in the league that are going to be interested in two of your receivers. Let's start with Garrett Wilson. And I think yeah, any team is going to be lucky to get him. So I've always heard of Panini and knew what they did when they brought the uh, trading cards to the table. I mean, to be featured on this Raider Rookie Series with Panini, you know, and, and give all my fans, you know, a step into what I do day to day was really awesome. You know, it didn't become, you know, real for me as far as working with them until, like, you know, my marketing team had told me that. Panini was interested in doing something with me and, you know, it was an exciting time and, you know, to be in this, you know, situation for where I can use my platform and have that type of impact on, on kids who, are, you know, just love the game or love keeping track of players and, you know, to, for me to have the support of people like that, you know, it means a whole lot. I don't take that for granted at all.